Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. So here's the CBF 125 that you saw probably a couple of videos ago and I picked this bike up in part exchange. I wouldn't have gone out and bought this bike but I, I sold a black CBF 125 I had 2015 model and the guy when he was here he was paying me for it and he said oh, I've got an old Honda CBF 125 and I asked him about it and he told me what's wrong with it. I said how much do you want for it and he gave me a number which was low and he told me the condition and I thought yeah why not he was just up the road so I went with him took the bike he was buying and bought this um, sort of in part exchange so I have it um, I probably shouldn't have it I probably shouldn't have bought it but I've got it now and I was going to just sell this on and just you know try and move it on but I thought no that's not what I'm about I'm about um, fixing stuff and, and giving life to stuff that was dead and and I wasn't going anywhere so I've decided to you know against my better judgment try and fix this bike so you can see it's got just a host of problems so the headlight is back um, the panels are all cracked and the front mod guard is missing these forks are completely toast they're no good at all but probably the worst thing is that somewhere there's an oil leak in this engine so if I can't fix this oil leak or understand where it's from I have no hope at all um, I mean it's an interesting one because it's just all over the place in this in this, I've taken this little cover off and it's just all over the place so I don't know why or where it's coming from so I'm gonna to have to get my hands dirty I'm gonna basically get a big um, bucket full of petrol and a big scrubbing brush and just try and melt the sort of oil and crud out of there so leave it with me I need to find some gloves and I will tackle this bike well I decided to go for it the bike fell over because the center stand is knackered this is probably the worst bike I've ever owned so why not just throw it on the floor and be done with it and in the meantime why not just set fire to it i mean that's probably the best outcome for this bike but hey it's here i'm here um i'm gonna have a go so you know probably don't try this at home but i'm just gonna set off my own ecological disaster get some petrol and i am going to you can see i've got my glove on to keep uh, mrs dixon happy um i'm just going to try and get some of this crud off um yeah it's really not looking good at all and yeah i just don't want to mess up my grass obviously but at the same time i do have to clean this up so anyway i'll crack on here i'm going to try not to make a mess i may have to take a lot of parts of the bike to try and get to the root of the problem and we'll see how it goes well as you can see things have taken a definite turn for the worse um so uh, i've pulled the engine I've given it a really good clean up and I won't show you on camera because it's a bit messy but um, the engine is a bit cleaner and the name of the game is not to get it perfect all I need to be able to see is where the leaks are coming from so if I spin it around a bit this way this area somewhere is where the leak was coming from I'm hoping I mean there's a chance it could just be that the sump plug was loose or something because it did seem to be dripping from that area so I mean that would be amazing that would be good um, but unlikely so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it up with old engine oil I think most of the oil in it has leaked out so I'm going to fill it with old engine oil see if I can spot where it's leaking from and then we can go from there so as of yet no oil seems to be leaking um, and when the, when, the, when the engine was in the bike I did notice that there's quite a bit of oil up in this area so I'm wondering if it could just be the head gasket is blown you can see this gasket doesn't look very good now, because I've drained the oil and the engine's been sitting for some time, there's no, there won't be any oil in this top end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a battery and I'm just going to put the red terminal to the starter motor plus and then I'll put a, a spanner between the negatives and I'll see if I can do it on camera. I don't want to drop the engine or anything. I'll just see if I can turn it over to show you. So essentially i'm just going to connect up the positive there and the negative and hopefully it won't short out um so there's there it is so i'll spun the engine over so hopefully that would have pumped up some oil into the top end of the engine and it might start leaking out so i'm just you know looking out for where i can see a leak from because it had a really major leak so i'll see if i can spot it and i'll report back well another beautiful day here here's a quick look at my lettuces they're on the on the move and i've got some other stuff planted here in my raised beds 
Uh, they're not looking as good as last year. But anyway, that's another video. We'll get to that. Here's the bike I've been working on, the 2014 CBF, CBF 125. So I'm just continuing to strip down the back end. This bike is completely terrible. Here's the indicators. They're falling off. The number plate is cracked. The, I'm just going to... Once it's like 10 o'clock, I'm just going to cut that chain off with an angle grinder. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to replace the whole thing, try and clean up all the oil. So leave it with me. Um, I'm just going to completely strip it down and see how it turns out. Well, as you can see, things have taken another definite turn for the worse. Um, I've decided to just go a bit over the top with this one. So, well, I'm a simple man and I do things in a simple way and my approach when I work on bikes is I keep taking things off until there is no more bad parts to take off. <laughs> so unfortunately in this case, I'm going to have to go right down to the frame and hope that's okay. We know that the forks are bent, so they're no good. Uh, the front wheel is okay. Um, the center stand is, is completely dead. You can see actually here it's snapped off, so that's going to go in the scrapyard. You know, all of these parts are rusty, damaged, dirty, etc. So the only thing for it and the only way to make sense with this bike is just to strip it down until everything is off and then reassemble it using, you know, new parts where needed and reconditioning the parts as I go. I now have the frame washed and my next task is going to be to use this sandpaper and all I'm going to do is just scuff down the bits of the frame that I'm going to paint. Well, I'm just about to paint, so I've masked off the frame number and the colour code bits, the ones that you obviously need to leave. This is what I use, uh, gloss black enamel paint. So work continues, and um, I'm just going to give these forks a last little coat here. So just, I was uh, backing them before, but hey, um, just a quick second coat. Well, it doesn't look like much, but we are getting there. So this whole back end is now on the bike. Um, so that's pretty good. So pretty much now it's a rolling chassis. The engine's over there. So the engine needs to go in and it's just a case of putting it back together now. Um, pretty pleased with the way it's turning out. Here I am, I've got my hot knife on the stove and I am just going to heat the knife up and then apply it right down into that crack. And this will just hold the panel together uh, while I, uh, until I can do some fiberglassing. Well, you can see my uh, repair on the rear section here has gone well. So I've got the fiberglass in and it's ready to go. And this is the bottom half of the rear section. And that's the beauty of having two bikes. You can just take uh, the best out of two. So that just goes together like that. And I just have to line up the, see I need to line up the mounting points under there. And it should just clip in like so. There you go so i've clipped all of those in now on this side there are a couple of missing mounting points so i'm going to have to make a repair to that um, but i'll do that off camera okay so here goes for round two i've given the can another shake This is a perfect example of why you should always use primer, which I haven't done. So you can see the red that was there before is coming through, so that's a bit of a pain. This paint is terrible. It cost me a fiver in a, a parts store, and it's really not good at all. It's too thin, it's running. Um, but hey, it's what I've got, so no complaining. I'm just going to crack on. Um, I'm probably going to have to... Well, this is running like crazy because the paint's so thin, but it is what it is. I mean, the bike's going to be cheap, so... The paint, paint cost me a fiver, so there you go. I'm just getting this front wheel back on, the uh, front mud guard back on. It's a real pain because you have to remove the front wheel to do that. Next thing to tackle is this gear change lever. It's just got too much play in it, and it's partly that this part is worn out, and partly that this part is worn out. Um, I only have this one, so I've got a, a replacement here in silver, which is from the other bike. 
this part we'll have to live with and hope it is okay i've tested it on this part and it's okay so i'm just going to have to spray this one black take this off throw it in the scrap and then change out the peg in this part and we're done so that is going to conclude this video so i've basically been through the bike front to back i've stripped it down to a frame basically and i've taken off all of the parts checked them all cleaned them all painted some stuff and reassembled so i'm pretty pleased with the way it's turned out considering that this bike was basically dead it was completely and utterly um, broken uh, the engine was had a big oil leak um, none of the stuff was working the way it should be working so i'm happy with it the last thing i need to do is to set up this front end uh, but i'm not going to do that on this video because i'm waiting for a part to come in the post so i've cheated and i've just bought a ready-made headlight assembly for a tenner on ebay and what the hell got nothing to lose so i'm gonna i've bought that what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to fabricate a custom frame which i you i do using my welder and stuff and um so i have to make a frame coming across here and up into the headlight area so i'll show that on a separate video but for now this is done the front mud guard paint isn't too bad it blends in pretty well and the bike is is together i do still need to change the rear chain and sprockets over here and this part i still need to change i'm just waiting for the paint to dry on the other one but that's going to wrap it up please like and share uh, if you enjoyed this video and watch out for more content coming soon